I don't know how well this will turn out because I, uh, the light and all, it just seems like across the screen it's just like, I don't know, lines and stuff, but anyway. Can't be perfect, I guess. Two things I want to talk to you about. One, I've been taking medication right lately. <laughs> I've been taking medication lately. It's supposed to help suppress the urge to drink alcohol anyway. It happens to be called Naltrexone. N-A-L-T-R-E-X-O-N-E. Yeah, O-N-E. N-A-L-T-R-E-X-O-N-E. <clears throat> it says HCL behind it. Anyway, it's supposed to help me quit drinking or suppress the urge to want to drink. Well, I got me a dilemma. I don't know if I should continue taking it. I started taking it on the first of this month. And quite honestly, the lines are irritating me. Anyway. I started taking it on the first of this month. For about five-ish days now, my left kidney's been hurting. It's like somebody just came up and just punched me right in the kidney. And it's been hurting ever since then. Fuck, oh, skeech on me. Fuck, oh, skeech on me. But it feels like somebody just punched me right in the kidney as hard as they could and the pain just won't go away. No, I've been flushing my system a lot with just a ton of water, just a ton of it. Drinking Gatorade, water, whatnot, milk, a little bit of juice. Well, the pain, during the daytime, it seems like the pain is there, but it's not as bad as nighttime. Nighttime, it feels like it gets worse. Now, my question to you is, A, should I go in? B, should I contact my doctor? Or C, wait it out? I'm kind of thinking, come morning, get a hold of my doctor and just be like, what's up? Now, they've got the My Health chart, but the last several times I tried logging into it, it won't let me have access to anything, so I'm just like, you know what? Screw it. I'll play phone tag. And anyway, it's a, it, the pain in my kidney, it's like a throbbing feeling. More like a throbbing feeling. But then if I get in the car and drive somewhere, yeah, it feels like I got kicked in the, oh, right by a damn horse, I tell ya. And there's times I have to kind of arch the back to try to straighten out just to get relief on that. And I'm sitting back going, I've had kidney problems before. I had, I've been on dialysis once before for 10 days, no, 8 days. No, seven, no my correction, 7 days. So I don't know if I'm going to have to have dialysis again. I, I don't know. I'm no doctor. I'm scared to death to go into a doctor. I really am. Anyway, like I was saying, sick. I'm scared to death to go into a doctor. I really am. Brother, he's supportive of the whole thing. If you need to go in, you need to go in. And at the same time, he's like, man, I understand your fear. I don't know. My other thing is, this guy... I went to put a different razor blade into it, and I got fat fingers. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And guess what? Fat fingers in small spaces, they don't work. I'm supposed to get a razor blade 
with a screw up in there where that hole is. Right where that hole is. You want a man with fat fingers to put a screw and a razor blade at the same time and try to tighten that up. I can't do it. This is right, right now. This machine is rendered useless because my fingers are too fat and I can't get that screw started to continue stripping wire. I have to find somebody that can help me. You know, that I don't quite have that dexterity to get in there and do stuff like I once could. 20 years ago, I'd fiddle with it all day long and it wouldn't bother me. Now, forget about it. It's useless. It's a good machine. I love the machine. Don't get me wrong. I love the machine. It's just... When you, when you ain't got the dexterity and you got fat fingers, ain't gonna happen. So, yeah. I got me another backup plan, which I'll show that on another video. Different kind of wire stripper, you see. Hopefully tomorrow I can make a video on that if I get up. It's totally different. Blow your mind. But anyway, thought I'd make this short. Yeah, kidney pain. Lovely. Anyway, see you on the flip side.